Okay, so this is the real-time voice changer that's built into RVC, and it's, um, I think it works pretty well. So I was browsing through the RVC GitHub repository, and it looks like they have their own voice changer. So in today's video, we're just going to go ahead and check it out um, and get it all downloaded and extracted. So on the English page, you can see that they've got a real-time voice changer GUI, and I believe we just run this bat file. So if I go ahead, head on over, I already have it downloaded, but it's in this releases area. They have a new one, um, which is October 6th and then I downloaded this one. So I've got it all downloaded and extracted. So it should be as simple as going into it and then running um, go real time GUI bat. So I've never done this before on RVC. I've always just used W Okada and haven't really been looking at voice changing rate uh, recently, but um, well, let's go ahead and take a look at it and uh, see what we got. So. I believe the latest version of RVC, everything is located inside of the assets folder and then inside of weights. And it looks like they distributed some with it. So um, let me get some headphones on. Already I've got some headphones on. I'm going to reload these devices, I assume. And then the speakers. All right. And we got headphones. Um, we've got an index file, whatever this Kiki is, but see response threshold I don't know what any of these do let's just start the audio conversion um, hello test testing audio testing loading oh okay okay hello okay I I I it is, it is super loud. Let me turn it down. Super loud. Let me turn it down. Okay. Hello. Okay. Hello. Delay. Test. Test. Delay. All right. Test, so. Test. All right. So. It w is working. It's working. Um, maybe I need to change um, the pitch. Maybe I need to change the pitch. Hello. Hello. All right. So I'm gonna gonna stop the audio conversion real quick there and load in some PTH files from RVC models that I've trained. All right, so um, I'm, I've got some other models in here. Let's use the Marine one. Um, and then um, I'm not gonna do any index. So index zero, pitch settings, response threshold, RMVPE. I think this is good enough. So if I start audio conversion. Audio. Hello, testing. Hello, testing. Oh, there we go. It's working. Oh, there we go. It's working. But, okay, lag. But, Let me play around with it a little bit, and then I'll be back once I find some good settings. All right. So, um, I think I found some valid settings or the best settings for RVC real time GUI. Um, the response threshold right here. This is for the um, volume of the microphone that it takes in. So if I do negative 60, it's going to capture all of like the background noise. So you'll hear a little bit of um, artifacting. And then if I bring it down to like negative 40, the background noise will go away. So the pitch, of course, is the pitch of the voice. So if I change it around, um, that is going to be kind of like the same pitch as from W. Okada. Uh, 12 works for male to female, which is what I'm doing right now. Index would be the index file. Um, I the Kiki file just killed it when I tried in when I tried increasing the index rate. Um, and then of course you've got loud factor, which is just kind of like a static gain, I believe. And then it looks like inside of performance settings. So if I start changing the performance, um, it's gonna stop the voice conversion. And then you can see that there is a algorithmic delay right here. So I don't actually know what the delay for how it does a calculation. But if I put it to like 0 0.5 and then start audio conversion, we can see that the algorithmic delay is increased here. So if I bring it back down to 0 0.5, it'll go back to about half a second. As we can see here, um, we've got it at about half a second now. If we decrease fade length as well, it decreases, decreases the, the algorithmic delay. But now you can start hearing there is a little bit of uh, kind of like a pulsation of the voice, which isn't that nice. So yeah, for my GPU, which is a 4090, um, it seems like the sample length at the lowest and then fade length at max does a decent job here. Now. 
this is different than W. Okada with all of the other options. And I'm gonna go ahead and jump into W. Okada's most recent one. Um, just to check out what's changed there. But I do know there are different pitch detection algorithms that work on there. That might make it a little bit better. So let's go ahead and check that one back out. Okay, so um, looks like W. Okada is already at version 15. And so I went ahead and downloaded the latest one. And so that one is at this Hugging Face link. So if you click on the Hugging Face link, it brings you here. And for me, I downloaded this bottom one where it's, um, you can see it's 3.15. And if we go to the folder, I have the zip file here. So let me just extract it. All right, so that took a little bit of time to extract, but here I have it here. And oh, it's inside of this folder. So let me remove it already. And then let me rename it to real time voice changer underscore 1.5.3.15 just to keep track of it and here we are so we're just gonna start it and it's gonna download a bunch of stuff so i'll have to i have to wait until that's done i'm gonna go ahead and do more info run anyway one more download okay here we go it's all downloaded and done as you can see all of this stuff is here let's go ahead allow access and then um here we are okay cool so um for the most part everything looks about the same as i remember so if i go to tsukiyomi chan here um the only thing that seems to have changed is well nothing really <laughs> nothing not too much um but the thing about the w okada voice changer is that you have access to Onyx models, which should be a little bit faster. So I'm gonna close out of RVC's GUI just in case it's causing any um, latency issues or anything like that or whatnot. And load in some personal models. So and I've got um, and I've got some models here. So uh, let's go ahead and do our GUI model here and upload that. So we've got that in there and let me set up some settings real quick and here we go we've got um all of our settings set up we're using the onyx version and so that's the difference right here is the w okada one has different um frequency detection algorithms that you can use like the onyx the tiny and the full um, but we're going to use onyx and onyx is supposed to be faster so let's start it and here it is going, um, going? Um, so you should so be, able, should to be hear. able to hear and um, and, um what kind of different is look there are we can go all the way down to one for chunk size which i don't think we can do um so i'm gonna slowly bring it down and we'll see how good it actually is so i'm testing audio at 16 and you can um, see a little bit of pulsing in the voice. The previous lowest was eight. So let's go bring it down to let's bring it down to eight. And now you're getting some weird artifact. Okay, so that was a little bit too much. And my res is now back to normal. So sixteen. You can do sixteen. Maybe I had my experimental high. Why? So, so if I bring extra, extra let's go to eight. Oh nope, it's not gonna work. Okay, so note to self, you can't go below eight. Oh, you can't go below. You can't go below sixteen right now. I'm on a forty ninety, so it is you know, you know top of the line. So it should be good to go there. Maybe I need to change to server on the audio. So let me do that real quick. I'll change the sample rate to 48K. I'm going to select the USB audio codec. And then for the output, I'm going to use the Wasapi headphones, which I have selected here. So maybe this will be faster. Who knows? Let me try this one out. Hello? Hello? Testing? Testing. Okay. okay. So, so I think, I think this, this is, is sounding, sounding a little, a little bit, bit crisper, crisper already. already. Um, um, and if you take a look here, this is what's happening on the server. So maybe I can bring it down to chunk eight. So let's try that now. Okay, I'm at eight here. Um, and I just still not this took quite a bit of here, and it sounds terrible. All right, so sixteen. It looks like is going to be the lowest that you can go on W. Okada's voice 
voice changer still. And I think all of these settings are at about optimal. So, I mean, I could change the, chart, the extra a little bit, but if you turn to the extra, uh, just the one two. Yeah, you're still not going to get anything. And if I go down to, let's just try it out one and see what happens. It just ends up sounding like, um, just sounding like wings on a fly or something like that. That's batting by your ears, super close. And that's a little bit terrible. But this is the, I guess the W Okada voice color, voice changer. Um, it's still, fan it's still fantastic as always and has minimal lag on my 4090. Um, but it looks like I think, it, to me, it just sounds like the performance is a little bit better on 24 than it used to be. And that because maybe of this MVPE underscore Onyx right here, um, which I don't think was present in the ones that I was using previously. So, um, yeah, this is really quick. You can see the voice as almost like, well, the delay on it isn't that bad. and. I'm not getting any delayed audio feedback when I'm using my headphones and I can actually speak and not be confused because if you've tried using the voice changer on a higher delay, it gets a little confusing. Um, when you're trying to speak because you have a little bit of lag on what is being said and it's a little bit weird. So um, this is like a phenomenon and it's caused by that delayed audio feedback. Um, and so it just makes it hard to speak sometimes, but I'll ramble on. So I finally got to testing out the real-time GUI on uh, provided by RVC. I think someone did mention that they had had one on the RVC repository, but I never looked into it and I kind of forgot about it. So when I was going over it again in today, I just thought I would make a video on showing it and then just checking out the state of the real-time voice changing for, um, you know, the voice cloning. So that's going to be it for today's video. This is kind of just more of a showing video. I didn't really do any tutorial in here. I just kind of wanted to just free flow it. And I think I'm going to be doing a little bit more videos like that. So yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one and uh, see you later.